when I come back oh. Today video go be very short video. I go show now how na fi make this kind button with just HTML and CSS. We no go use any JavaScript at all for this video. So make we code. So this na just a basic HTML. Do nothing date this my code like this. Nothing date this my HTML. I just blank project. We don't get any CSS or JavaScript, right? And for inside the body, I could just drop one div for inside here. So now inside this div, what you want to be say, I could just drop a container or class of container for inside this div. So this whole div, now here we go use wrap everything we want. Make we drop another div for inside this container. I make we give them a class, btn double underscore container. Now just wait, we go to use the add all our button inside. So you go there inside the own div. So make we put an anchor tag or A for here. Now this A, make we just give them a href. And then make we just give them a class. Make we call them btn. And then make we drop text for inside this, our uh, button uh, where we get for here. Make we just call them hover. So what you want to be say, make I just try duplicate them. Make we duplicate them again. I make we duplicate them one more time. So we get one, two, three, and four buttons for here, right? Make we call this one so that I go date different. Make we call them BTN1 for here. This BTN1 go make them separate. So we go say class of BTN dash dash one. By the way, now BEM methodology, what they use for here. Now make we do BTN dash dash two. I make we do BTN dash dash three. And of course, as we don't do like that for this button, make we do our own for the number four button, which now BTN dash dash four as per F O U R four. Now that now all we will need for this our HTML. Make I just call this one down because we want to check them from down. Make I call this one up because we want to bring them from up. And make we call them left for here and right for here. As it day like this, now now we get our full HTML setup. So one more thing they will gonna need to do, and that now the CSS. Now for inside the CSS, it get what I always like do. I they like they define my CSS variables. If I don't know what CSS variables be, I go drop link for now. When I see what CSS variables be, all right. So this now the only CSS variables we will just define for here. So now make we write our body. Make we select the body. And for inside the body, we go give them a background and set the variable to the dark color where we want. So we go just say dash dash dark for inside the variable. That one now go come give us this dark nice background where we get for here. All right. Then make we add some more properties. So for here, we go just set them to display grid. As we set them to grid, we go place all the item for the center, and then we go give them a height of one hundred. VH. Now what you go come make and come sit for the middle like this as it is here. Now make we select the container. We go just set the display for inside the container to flex. That go spread everything side by side, right as it is here. And then we go set the gap. Then we go set down to flex wrap. That means say if we de reduce the screen, it go to wrap itself. It go to go on top of each other. You know understand? Now make we style the button. The button or BTN, make we give them all a padding of 10 pixels for the top and bottom and 25 pixels for the left and right. Make we give them a border radius of 5 pixels. And then we go set the text decoration to none so that you're not going to get that underline for all the links. You know, understand? Then we go just increase the font size to 16 pixels. I'm going to set all the buttons, maybe they get cursor pointer. You know, understand? And then we could just set the color to light. Then add the text. We'll constantly set the display to block and then we'll go set the position relative. This one now go make us feel the use absolute uh, uh, property on top arm. All right. So we don't set the relative and we go do that transition we set before for inside here. So now make we set the BTN uh, hover effect for the BTN. So we we'll say class of BTN colon hover. And for inside this, our button or hover selector with the here. So I'll give us set the color. Make we give them a variable of that. And then we'll set the background color to transparent. 
So we go set the pseudo class for here. So for all our buttons, they're going to get this pseudo class of before. Make we set the display to block and then we go set the position for here instead of relative to absolute so that the relative could they work on top and bottom. Now for only the pseudo element though, and then we could come set the z index to minus one so you could hide behind the, our main element and then we could set the content which is very important. We could set the color to variable dark and then we could give them that transition for the transition where we set for here. So make we start to style our first button, right? So we'll say for inside this button one or btn dash dash one, we'll come say we want to start the border. I'm going to set down to two pixels and then we'll go give them the color. You see this color, color one will be set for here. Now we'll go come set that border uh, for the color one. So we'll just set down to variable one. Now if you use any color one I want, and it will work nice, nice for now. So make we start the hover effect for the pseudo element for here. So now make we set that pseudo element. We go set the bottom to zero. I'm going to set the top to auto. I'm going to set the height to 100%. Make we start to the style the pseudo element for this button one, only for this button one. All right. Make we set the left to zero, set the top to zero, set the height to zero pixels, and then we go set the width to 100%. And then we can give them a background. And the background color we want, now don't get some, now the color one, because we did button one. If we put our mouse on top of you they see them, you they see them, you they see them, you don't fresh. So we can do the remaining ones because they're never set, all right? Make we go add the second button. And this one go do slightly similar, but we go just tweak some kind things. So again, I'm going to move fast for here so that now we'll just see as it goes. So we'll go set the color for the border to color two, and then we'll go do the hover effect for only the pseudo element of before. We'll go set the top to zero, bottom to auto this time, but we will still do the height just like before. We will set the height to 100%. Mark will now set the before pseudo element style for button 2. So btn dash dash 2 before. Now we go come set the left to 0 pixels. We go set the bottom to 0 pixels. We go set the height to 0 pixels. And we go set the width this time to 100%. And then make we give the background color. So that now the blue way they see for here. So if we put mouse on top, you can see as it don't fresh. But if they come from up, so they come down. You don't understand? So make we do again for the third button. We go give them in border. We go set the color to color 3. We go give the hover effect for the uh, before pseudo element. We'll give them a left of 0%. We'll give them a right of auto. And then we'll go set the width of them to 100%. Now, so we go set them for here. So after this one, make we can't give the pseudo element for this button 3. We'll go set the top to 0 pixels. We'll go set the right to 0 pixels. I'm going to set the height to 100% but we go set the width this time to 0 pixels. Then make we give of course the background color to color 3. That's not the one way they up. Now they already see the pattern way they for here so now. You don't understand? So make we they move faster now. Make we do button 4 quick quick. So again, we go set the color to color 4. We go set the hover effect for this pseudo element of the before pseudo element for this button 4. We go set the right to 0%. We go set the left to auto and then make we give them a width of 100%. As you don't set them like this now, this go give us our button over effect. But if you compare them, we can't turn the left to right and the right to left. Now make we style the button for pseudo element. So we go just give them a top of 0 pixels left of 0 pixels, we can give them a height of 100% and a width of 0 pixels just like this one we will do for here so but we can set the background color to color dash 4. If I pull mouse on top arm, 
you they see as it don't work. So if you check them now, make I preview them. If you check them, you will see button one, two, three, and four. You know the same? You know the same? I hope say this video don't help now. Know how on a feed the style to your buttons with just simple CSS. You don't need JavaScript to do many magic for now. And your code will be very small. If you now like all these kind of videos, mona subscribe, mona like this video. And of course, I beg mona share because all these things are they ask now. They are free. So I will see you now for the next video.